this, I'm going to show you how to make a Wigglegram GIF that's going to be suitable for Instagram or the web. So there's going to be two versions that I'm going to show you how to make. So first we want to open up Photoshop and load the scans that you would have gotten when you've developed your film. Um, Nimslo and Nishika has four frames, but the Reto 3D has three frames. However, the Reto 3D has its own app dedicated to help you make the GIF. But if you want to learn how to make it manually, I'll show you how. So after we've loaded the scans, we want to click on the lock sign on the layout and we can change the layer to layer one. Now if we zoom in, we can see there's a bit of a ink blot smudge. I'm not sure the term for this, but it's easy fix. All we need to do is click on the lasso tool, go around it. right click fill make sure the content is content aware the opacity is 100 percent like i have and click ok and as you can see it's gone to the naked eye so with the first layer we want to use this tool the move tool we want to move the first frame into the middle okay then we want to right click on layer one and duplicate it let's call this layer two now, on layer two, we want to click this part that says normal, the blending mode, and we want to go to difference. So double press D, and you'll see difference come up. That's what you want. Now difference changes the blending tool. So you can see that the frames are almost like an X-ray. So we want to line them up with the center of this image, which I'll make my friend Jess. So we want to align her eyes up. You can use the directional buttons, left, up, down, and right, to position the image where you want it. And generally when there's no white outlines, that's when you've got a good alignment. Click on the blending mode tool and go back to normal. Now we're gonna right click this, duplicate it again, call it three. Again, click on the blending mode, double press D, difference, and enter. Now we know the third frame is the frame next to the red dot because the red dot is the fourth frame. So what you want to do is uncheck the second frame so you know it's the first frame there. Third goes here. Again, we want to zoom in, make sure everything is aligned perfectly. Looks good to me. Again, we want to make sure it goes back to normal. We want to right click on this and duplicate it. You can call it four and we can uncheck three so it doesn't come in, in the way. Okay, let's click on difference. Now we know it's the frame with the red dot above it. So fourth will come in here. Looks good to me. Zoom out, click on the blending mode Go back to normal. You can press N when that drop down bar comes up. Now you can check all these again. And for simpler sake, you can just start cropping it. It doesn't have to be exact because we'll go and start finer cropping later on. Now we want to go to window and make sure timeline is clicked. Once that's clicked, you have a timeline toolbar on the bottom. So let's click on create video timeline and we want to go to the bottom left corner to click on the convert to frame animation button. Once that's done, the first frame will come up, click on the speed and we want to make sure it's 0.1 seconds. You can have no delay which means the wiggle gram will be a lot faster but um, give it a go with 0.1 and see if that's the speed you like. It's the speed I prefer. Once we've done that, we want to uncheck these layers, two, three, and four. We only want the first frame to be visible. We're gonna go down to the bottom left and next to the delete button and there's a, du a duplicate frame button. Click on that, make sure the second frame is showing, duplicate that, and the third, duplicate that, then the fourth, duplicate that. After the fourth, we're gonna go backwards because the wiggle gun's gonna go from one, two, three, four, three, two, one. So uncheck four, duplicate that. Now on the sixth frame, make sure you uncheck 
the third one. So you only want to show the first and the second frames. We do this because we're going to duplicate the first six frames. So it'll go one, two, three, four, three, two, then one respectively. So we're going to click on the first layer, hold down shift, click on the sixth frame and it'll select all of them within that range. And we're going to duplicate them. Now I find going up to 30 frames gives you three seconds, which is the minimum requirement for Instagram. But um, if you're like me and you like to edit your videos, you can go up to 100 if you'd like. I believe you can go up to 30 seconds per Instagram video, or is it one minute? I'm not too sure. But either way, you want to make sure they're all duplicated. Lastly, you want to make sure that the video loops forever. Okay? So once we click play, we will see the Wigglegram in motion. There you go. But we can still see some frames that need to be cropped. So you can click on the buttons at the bottom of the timeline to find the things that you'd like to be cropped out. So let's zoom in. The more you zoom in, the finer your crop will be. Looks pretty good. We play it again to see if there's anything I've missed. So on this frame, we can still see some of the black border on the right. So we're going to zoom in even more. Press enter to crop. Beautiful. Oh, still a little bit left. I'm very pedantic about this. Awesome. Let's get back to the first frame. Looks good. So we play it again. And that looks perfect to me. Okay, the next step is exporting. So I'm going to show you two ways to export this for two platforms. The first platform we're going to do is for Instagram. So we're going to click on File, Export, and then Render Video. <clears throat> you want to make sure that it's using the Adobe Media Encoder. The format is 0.264 and it's using the document size. Then you click Render. This will make a .mp4 file which you can upload to Instagram. Instagram doesn't accept .gif files, unfortunately. But the internet does, so I'll show you how to make that. So you can upload it to your blogs or post it online. Um, you can use, use it in WhatsApp. Whatever you want to use it to your heart's content. So that's going to be done. Let's have a look. Oops. When we open it, you click play. Beautiful. No black border surrounding it. And we've removed a little smudge in the bottom, so it looks perfect. Excellent. Next, how to make a GIF. So once again, file. But what we're going to do is click Save As. Down. Oh, we want to go to File, Export, Save for Web. My other Photoshop has Save for Web up here, so I couldn't find it. But here, we're going to Export, Save for Web. <clears throat> now, this window is going to pop up. And we want to make sure that we save the GIF according to the settings I have. when my computer decides to load. Okay, we want a GIF, no preset, everything looks good, and then we just click save. 
put this on my desktop click save and then it's going to process that export it takes a long time because I've got 67 megabytes full of images but if you just did three uh, three seconds worth it'll be a lot faster so let's have a look whoops better to open it in a browser and there you go ready for the internet or your blog and that's basically it. That's how you make a Wiggleground GIF for Instagram or for the internet. Uh, sorry for some of the disruptions. This is my first time making a YouTube video, but I hope this all helps you in your endeavors to creating a Wiggleground. Good luck.